Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Stephanie FM. Today, Atletico Madrid versus Leganes. Uh, I might bring you a second game to Athletic Bilbao. We'll have to see. Uh, it kind of I I should probably start bringing you two games in episode, as everyone else does. I just seem to run long for some reason. However, we have finished up the preseason. I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, the transfers. The biggest defeat of this entire transfer window has been the loss of Steven Savic. Stavic. Savic. Uh, he was not going to sign a new contract. His contract expired at the end of the season. I had only really the choice of selling him. And the fans were not happy. The board was very happy. He went out for a whopping $33.5 million. And when you are only got $1.8 in the bank, you kind of need the money. And the board is very pro-money. They don't care about the club, it seems, very much. I don't know what an actual... Uh, Atletico Madrid fan would say to that. However, every little thing that I've seen is it here. To summarize, the board are satisfied with the coaching of the team and the entire coaching of the team is they're very satisfied that you're making uh, progress towards club vision on board with your performance in the transfer market because they enjoy the fact that we've sold him for such a good amount of money. Kind of annoying to see, but whatever. But now that we had a couple bucks in the bank, we decided to splurge on this dude, Arno Calimundo. I have no idea if that's pronouncing it right. He is from PSG. He is going to slot into, he's, well, hopefully he's going to go out on loan. If not, he's going to slot into our youth ranks. His potential ability is okay. Uh, our scouts rated him fairly somewhat highly and kind of wanted to see how he would grow in our youth. So it was no money at all. I mean, it was like 675k compensation. So we'll see how it works. But the only other in that we have is Justin Clivert. I is that how you say it, Justin Clivert? He spent a whopping two years at Roma, 30 apps, one goal. Uh, and he's coming over here. He's got incredible amount of potential. We probably didn't need anyone in these roles. However, I still don't know if I'm going to sell someone up in the front attacking mid area. We do have Felix. We do have Vitolo, we have Lamar, we have a bunch of people up there. I kind of wanted some more backup anyway. Our two main issues were uh, were the attacking midsection as well as the defensive section. I kind of think defensively we're okay. We probably obviously could have used a bigger name. But since we don't have a lot of money there, it's kind of hard to get a big name in there. Uh, so I brought Justin Clivert in. And I'm going to say Cluver every now and again. And I deeply apologize for that. He's Dutch. I keep thinking the French accent. Whatever. So this is kind of cool. Uh, Paveda wants to discuss personal matters. I have no idea who Dar Dario Paveda is, but he wants to leave the club. As I'm responsible for selling the player, I want to know if I should speak with him or if you would like to, to. So I'll I'll deal with that in a minute. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't remember this being in 19. So that is a cool choice because I've always had uh, the coaches and everyone just randomly selling players that I thought I was responsible for. So it's nice to see this screen. And why am I transfer listing players that are unregistered that are 16 years old? 18 years old. Okay, that dude can probably go. Uh, sorry, Tropy. I didn't even know. I thought you were a youngster. I didn't even play you at all. Yeah, he hasn't got any team action. So yeah, I probably should let you go. Sorry about that. Now, this is the other transfer issue that I kind of had. I... Um, Marin, Marin, Pongracic, Pongracic, whatever. I was going to come in, but because I brought Clivert in, I had no money to do it. The board will not give me anything, so I had to cancel this, unfortunately. He looked fairly promising. Uh, I mean, he's a youngster. He's 21 years old, so he's going to grow. But some of these mentals are pretty good. Passing of 13, tackling of 11. But hopefully they'd grow. Positioning of 14, I would have loved. However... You know, maybe sometime in January, or if I get to sell someone later on, he can come in. However, let's get to the schedule quickly. I'm not going to show you anything, really. We just had a, we had a very good uh, preseason. Two things I do want to show you. Juventus, who had, I mean, they got a stacked team. Ronaldo, obviously. Rabio, Emery Chan, Jesus. Um, the uh, Delit, they have a stacked team, and we won all draw. 18 shots, 8 on target for us to their 6-2. and two. Ronaldo just came in and crushed one, and it was fucking annoying. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to show you, with Cliver coming in, he scores his first goal. So Cliver scores his first goal. Arias bangs it all the way up. Fantastic goal. And then what happens? Look at him. Look at him. He's right over there. Everyone's over there. Nobody. Everyone's like, 
Nah, eh, whatever. Clivert's like, I scored my first goal for Madrid! And everyone couldn't care less. So, <laughs> let's get to this game. By the way, what the hell is this? Takeover rumors for Madrid? I This is the first I'm hearing about this. I didn't know, is there one in real life? Uh, are there talks of it in real life? I don't know, maybe they'll get me more money. That would be nice. So this is the team that I'm going to go with. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to go over these, uh, the team sheets every single match, but the first ever game in the La Liga for me in Atletico Madrid uniform or I guess pin or wood tie, whatever I'm going to be wearing, a blocking goal, of course, Hermoso, Felipe, Jimenez, Arias does get the nod ahead of Trippier. I don't know. I just liked Arias better. Trippier did a good job during preseason, but Arias just did a little bit better. Llorente in that DM role. Saul, Coque, Lamar, Correa, and Diego Costa actually gets up front because the assistant coach just said, yeah, I think he would do better. So I'm going to go with that kind of idea and we'll see. The preseason seems to have gone where we have a ton of shots, a good portion on, on target, but then we kind of maybe miss out on possession a little bit, not too much, like 45 to 50-ish percent. Uh, it, the higher-end play uh, teams like Cologne and Juventus, I think we were actually doing a bit better in the possession side. I mean, but we're playing like this. We're just kind of passing it around. That was whipped in. I am seeing some stuttering on this a little bit. So if you notice it, I apologize. It seems to be the beta. I'm not really sure beyond that. Anybody? Anybody want to do something? It's halftime in three minutes, and this is the second highlight we have, pretty much. I don't know why either of those plays would happen. Damn, him and is nice. But, oh, that was getting there. But I don't know why Lamar has such a crappy core or a crappy spot kick and then I don't know why the defender is just kind of dinking it a little ways but six shots on uh, six shots around is not too bad okay start taking a nap that's it Llorente into Saul, who's one of my most important players. Hermoso. I still don't know about that. I mean, the left and right back, still we don't have great players. Funny enough, I almost got to Shiglio. If you followed my uh, my previous saves of Fulham, I got to Shiglio, and he, he wasn't bad. He was a good player. He just didn't want to be there at all. Uh, so I got pissed at him a little bit. What is with these crappy corners? One thing I've also been noticing with the... Let's see what happens. Saul. Correa. No. I'll, that happens a lot. It Players will just get the ball and ping it off of a defender. And it happens far too often. That and the posts uh, all around. Just very annoying. Let's see what happens. I mean, this is going real fast. But then Adias comes down. They've been able to keep the ball really well. No, there's not been a lot of kind of stealing it real easily, but shit passes like that, and even worse, have been some of the biggest issues. Koke, almost, from just outside of the box, I believe. I have no memory of things. But Lamar, nope. Don't know what that was. They'd love to cross it all the way back and forth from side to side of the pitch. God damn it, Diego. Fucking Diego Costa. No, he didn't cost us there. Yes, they will be happier. I mean, look at that. 16 shots, 9 on target. And that's without work the ball in the box. Absolutely disappointing. So, I basically have two formations that I used throughout preseason. This is the one I've been using more of. It's kind of what I call the 4-5-1. It is a positive mentality. I do have... I mean, Llorente is not a bad DM. He's got some good current ability, good potential ability. He's got some good numbers here. Passing a 15. 16 tackling. Love it. So I've been using this most of the time. In possession, usually do kind of a shorter passing. Every now and again, I'll bump it up to direct. Uh, in transition, I'd like to uh, distribute to the basically the entire back line. 
Uh, it originally has center back, but I kind of wanted to the fullbacks as well. I guess the fullbacks can run up if it, they're not being passed to. But use tighter marking. That is the custom gag and pressing. The other one is a 4-2-3-1. Obviously, this is not the lineup I would use. It's a tactical tiki-taka style. And it's kind of the same stuff. Much shorter passing. I do have work the ball in the box. I have not used this in a little while. So um, that's really... I might try it one of these games. We'll have to see. But next up, Atletico Bilbao. So Renan Lodi with a throw in. Over to Saul. Up to Koke. Or over to Koke. Back heels it to Saul. Up to Lodi again. Sticking it on that left side of the pitch. Ooh, nice pass up to Lodi. But then just stalls on it. Saul smacks in an Arias. Who gets the first goal of the season? Santiago Arias, assisted by Saul. It was like smack and a half into the back of the net. Into the back of the net. So Saul, nice ball into Lodi. Back to Saul, who turns and smacks it over to Arias, who's wide open, one times it. Just past the outreaching arms of great keeper number 13. So Renan Lodi, Jao Felix, what on earth was that? Vitolo. <laughs> oh, goalkeeper errors. Still somewhat prevalent. Vitolo, who I was actually thinking of selling at one point in the season, decided not to. But Felix, what on earth was that? That was your one time offer. Then Kappa smacks it right back to Vitolo, headers, heads it back to Vitolo. Great keeper number 13 is still out there. I don't know what you guys are doing. Five shots, two on target. Two to nothing, which is what this previous game should have, or previous match should have been. You guys are not trying to get, win the ball back. And it's annoying when what I've seen really, really, what kind of defending was that? I mean, Martinez was just sitting right there in front of goal. It drops to him and bang. So, Benyat, nobody. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Is that Jimenez? Is that, is that, is that? Yes, we get it. Skip. Flip's sake. So, Jao Felix. Who do you think is behind you when you head these things? Where do you think the ball is going? Because it's going nowhere. And it's getting old and annoying. So please don't do that anymore. So Felix, back to Lodi. I, I'm thinking Felix might have to come out. That was not a good pass at all. Uh, but it was a great stop by Lodi. Into Koke, over to Arias. Clivert. Nope, not tipped, no, okay. So that was pretty poor. Arias with a 77%. Koke Jimenez! Pinballing it over! But back across the line, Saul, video system replay, replay referee has been called upon to review. Koke! Oh, yeah, he's offsides. But it, well, yeah, I mean, it's offsides anyway. It's too bad. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? What on earth is going on? VAR has been called upon to review decision. I mean, he's on... Oh, he's offside. I didn't know to... Okay, I forgot. Okay. But still, everyone's packed in front of that goal, doing absolutely nothing to figure out where the ball is. So Adias, great cross... Clivert back to Arias Morata. Wow. That was one hell of a stop by Iago H. Herre, Herre, and whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Doniaki Williams. What is that? <laughs> Luckily, we beat it out 2-1 to one in the end. 17 shots, 6 on target. Uh, maybe I could put... And they're only 4-2. and two, Damn. But maybe I could put the work ball in the box a little bit more. Yeah, that was kind of a... Ooh! Ouch. But we sit in uh, fifth place right now with four points. One win, one draw. 
I don't know when we're going to come back. FC Barcelona, I might skip that one and play the, the return at home. Uh, we do have the Champions League group stage set up next week. So I'll probably do some of these offline and then get back to you. I would like to bring you some more, you know, two to three times a week. Obviously, this is just a busy time for me, so shit happens. But that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. I am Stephanie FM. Take care and enjoy.